Hi, I'm Brandy. Welcome to Sewing Back. Today, I just want to take a quick, quick minute, maybe two, um, to talk to you about plant propagation. Um, I live in Kennesaw, Georgia, which is a suburb of Atlanta. Uh, it's north of Atlanta, about 25, 26 miles. And um, I live in growing zone 7B. So we have a pretty long growing season, and um, the reason I want to talk about plant propagation is because you can propagate plants too. So let's start, what is pr plant propagation? Plant propagation is the breeding of specimens of a plant by natural processes from the parent stock. And so there's a lot of different ways. You can do tree propagation, um, you can, um, and of course doing plant propagation. So what's an easy way that you can propagate a plant? So let's say you have some tomato plants growing right now. Probably have some tomatoes. I particularly like this with indeterminate tomatoes. Um, heirloom type indeterminate tomatoes. Um, because those have proven parents that you're going to get if you save seeds from that plant and then grew those seeds you're going to get the same plant. Um, if you have a hybrid that's not necessarily, you'll still get a tomato or what have you, um, but it may not, it may be good, it may not. And so um, you have to be mindful of that. So if you have heirloom tomato plants, you get these things um, called suckers. And the sucker is really just another plant and it kind of comes in between the two branches. There's like a little one that'll come up. Well, what you should do, um, or maybe it's already gotten away from you, you have some that are some decent sized suckers. So right here, this is my plant propagation jar. And so what I have done, and if you notice, can you see? These have blooms, but these were suckers um, that were on yeah, see I've got blooms up here. These were suckers that were on some of my indeterminate tomatoes. And, um, matter of fact, I had a sucker right here and I actually have it in a different jar because it was smaller and I'm propagating that. And so all you do is you put it in some good water, which is what I have here. I've had them in for a couple days, and but they will start to, you can see right, those little nods and stuff, and the little hairs. I don't know if you can see it on my phone, but they have all tomatoes. You can root way up. Those will just turn to roots in the water, and then you can put them in some soil. Um, you'll put them in some soil. You'll probably want to kind of baby them, especially if you're propagating these inside. If you have AC right now, I don't have AC, so that's not really a deal. Um, but... <laughs> um, you to get them used to going outside. You don't want to totally shock them if they've been in air conditioning. And you can pot them up. Um, honestly, though, at this size, when I get good roots, I'll just put them in my garden um, boxes out, outside. Um, what I will probably do if some miracle my air conditioner gets fixed, um, supply chain issues, um, <laughs> if it gets fixed, then I will totally take my jar out to my greenhouse uh, for a couple of days, like let it get acclimated outside. Then I'll just plant those into my beds where I have open spots where I have other tomatoes that are spent, either determinate ones. They've already put on all of their fruit. I've picked the fruit. They're done. There's no reason to keep them in the garden. Or if I've had sickly plants, and I've had a couple, um, particularly my yellow type tomatoes, my lemon boys, and my Dr. Witchies. Um, yeah, those, those two have been the two that I've had some issue with. So if you have empty spaces or you built another bed, <laughs> you can take them out and you can plant these in. Um, tomatoes, if you do this, it's really kind of neat. It's You've got to kind of baby them because, yes, we get into the what they like to call here the dog days of summer. I don't know, though. We started with some darn dog days in, in June with over 100 degree temperatures. Um, so you kind of have to watch them. But um, if you, if you kind of baby them and you kind of plant them strategically, you really can be getting tomatoes all the way up to frost. 
Um, I've done this before. I've had years where it flopped. Um, I just had blight and it was just one of those years and um, or I've had a few of those years where it just gets too muggy and the plants get fungal and they, you just can't. There's nothing you can do. But I've had other years where I'm out there before the big frost on, you know, at the end of October picking all the green tomatoes so that I can make pickled green tomatoes. So um, it's totally worth doing, especially if you've already grown the plant or if you've already bought the plant. It's a, it's a way to help your money stretch and go further. So anyway, that's all I wanted to tell you about plant, plant propagation. Um, you should try it. Um, it's also very cool to get into the whole tree uh, propagation and grafting and all that good stuff too. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Um, if you found this of value, please like this video, share this video, um, subscribe to our channel, and um, if you've propagated something else this way, leave it in the comments. Until next time.